Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie Earth Designs. Have a little bit of time today so I thought we would work in the um, Cowgirl Junk Journal. And I have, a, I have some different ones going on here so I just grabbed one. And I thought I, I would work on these two pages here. So I'd love to have you join in. Um, like I said, I want this to be messy. I want it to be eclectic. Um, I'm finding that I don't have a lot of ephemera to, um, you know, go in here. So I'm trying to, um, I don't want to say ad lib, but I'm going to put my own twist on it. Um, because I still like like working with nature and birds and flowers and vintage. So I'm going to use what Marissa has provided for the cowgirl um, images, digital images. And then I'm going to be putting my own twist on this. So I wanted to try to tie these two pages together in a little bit different way. So I have this really pretty fabric here. So I ripped some little um, pieces and I thought I would have it look like these two pages were joined together um, with these little tabs. All right. So I thought that might be kind of fun. And I'm just a little apprehensive on gluing these down. I don't know why. Um, I think it'll be okay. <laughs> but again, I'm just, I don't know. As we all have in the, you know, back of our minds when we do things like this, you know, I don't, I don't want to make a mistake or I don't want it to, um, I don't want to fumble the process. Um, but, and I think I'm just going to put some on the paper here. And again, I don't really care if it's, um, They don't really have to be glued down. I want this to be sloppy and messy. And I'm not really looking for perfection. And I think the way to do it is glue one side at a time. And then fix it, um, adhere it to that, that end right there. Sounds like my son just walked in. Let's see. So I think what I will do I'm going to need a little gap. I don't want it too tight. So maybe what I'll do is just I'll glue this down, but I will leave enough space maybe, right, to Give it some space to move here. Um, and I guess this is where the apprehension <laughs> comes into play. So maybe if I just do it that way. Get that on there as it burps everywhere. So. Okay, I 
think that will be okay like that, right? And maybe I will just fold this and excuse my arm. They call this the crane. <laughs> um, there. All right. I think that'll be, I think that'll be good. Okay. All right. So that's done. And then I have a, I have a belly band here. This is from uh, the Cowgirl Digital Images. And this comes on a large sheet. And I think, uh, yeah, this is where I have been cutting, all right, off of this. And I just cut these out. This I printed on a different piece of um Paper, you can see the difference. It's more. This is more white. This has more of a antiqued um, look to it. So I'm thinking about putting that there. And then I took one of my little scraps from the other project, and I wanted to put that on here like that. Um, and then I have this really cool. It's a C.M. Russell American Artist um, postage stamp of It's a Wild West scene. Almost looks like a Frederick Remington scene. And I wanted to put that right on there. So we're going to get the stamp down. And I'm just wondering if I should, I, I think I might stitch around that. Um, to give it a little more um, finished off look. I'm going to put that on there like that. Okay. like that there like that. I really don't have a set. I could put the belly band over here. Um, but I just thought this would be fun to have this here like this. I could even bring it a little bit closer. Not too close. I do like that. I think I'm going to stick to my original idea. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch around this. Um, I'm just wondering if I should keep this and then I could have another little, another little something. I don't really want to have anything tucked in there. Um, Cause I don't, I don't want to cover this up. I really like this. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch around this and then we will get this on this page here. Okay, I decided not to go across the top and the bottom. I like just the um, each side. Done here. Sorry about that. I have I have to have my phone on in case my husband um, needs me. So it may be a bit annoying. I hope not. So again, I just wanted to stitch down each side, and I really like that. So I'm going to get this glued in here. found too that this um, this batch of art glitter is really wet and I don't know what's what's going on with it it usually it really isn't this wet and I'm not sure I like working with it because 
it is wet, wet, wet. So I hope that everyone is doing well. Um, we've had some really nice weather here today. It's a beautiful day. Uh, today is Thursday. It is October 12th. And um, my guys came today to turn my to shut my sprinkler system down. So the girls had a ball. I took Bella and Daisy out and they just love the two guys that come. And I always get a big hug. I feel like one of them, I feel like their mom. They both have great moms, but when they come up here, they're just, they're so cute. These guys, and the one, um, their dad started the business to put the boys through college and it became such a success. The boys, <laughs> they went to college and then they've taken over the business um, from their dads. And uh, see how wet that is? That art glitter glue. I don't know what's going on with it. I think it's a bad batch. Um, so they came today, and I, like I said, I took the girls out, and they had a ball. It's a beautiful day here. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so there is the belly band. Okay, and I'm going to let that dry. And then on this side, I want to use this sweet image. Um, you know, it is, I think this cowgirl journal is going to be all about these sweet girls in here. And I do want to try to feature them and use them um, in a way that they can be admired and looked at and just very, very cute. So I want to make kind of like a little frame. Um around her. So I pulled some brown and I have, I, this is got a little bit of scrapbooking going on here, but I thought this would be really cute just to put on this side and feature her. So that's what I want to do. And I like this rip torn and I'm going to rip and tear down here. And then maybe we can put a little embellishing here. Um, so what I want to do First is I'm just going to get her, let's move this to the side. I am going to get her down on here, okay? And again, this is wallpaper. So I'm just wondering what my best choice is. And I think it might be the three in one. Um, And I have her on regular paper, so I've really got to think. Unless I use the Gorilla Glue, um, and maybe I could paint a little bit on her on the back and put her on that way. Um, I'd really like a smooth transition for her. So let me get a little paintbrush, and I'm going to grab the glue, and then I'll paint that, and we'll continue um, with this little framed gal. Okay, I called it Gorilla Glue, didn't I? It's Reptile um, Premium Craft Adhesive. So I'm going to put a little bit on here. And I'm going to brush this on. Probably should have gotten a bigger, bigger brush, huh? I didn't want to use one of my good, good, good brushes, but maybe I can just do side to side and then brush it on as I get on there, right? All right, so let's, let's get this on here like this. It's probably not the best way to do it, but it's the way I'm doing it. Pro 
something could have been done a lot simpler. With a nice big brush and Oh well, live and learn, right? Okay. Let's put that over. You can see where I had it pinned up to my bulletin board. All right, we're gonna let that dry a minute and I'm going to um, clean my brush really quick. Okay, so I cut her in the meantime, all right? Washed my brush, I cut her down and we're going to get her right here on this as well. And again, I think because this is wallpaper, um, I'm going to use my reptile glue. And I'm just going to put it on like this. Okay. Put that on. I think tonight is the night that I need to do my nails as well, so. They are looking pretty shoddy. Okay. So, she is on there like that. And we're going to cut her down. We're going to cut this down again. So, we just got a nice little layering and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a little more off. I'm going to leave a little bit wider here. This is how I usually do it because um, I can work better with my little Creative Memories one. Um, and then I think on the bottom here, I am just going to um, tear that down like that. Whoops. And then I'm going to come bring this back over. And I'm going to kind of measure here. So, okay, so we got it like that. So I'm just going to come in here. And that's good. So, okay. So we have that. Let's bring the book back over here. And I want to get her on here like this. And I'm wondering, what do I have on this side? Yeah, I don't want to do that. I think what I'm going to do, I think it would be fun to put a couple eyelets here. Um, but I will do that before I... Um, I have some smaller ones here. Let's just see if the smaller ones might, might be good. I'm just gonna take any one here that, okay, so these are little ones. These might be just perfect instead of using the bigger ones. So I think that would be kind of fun there. And I think I might even, um, know what I might do. I could try it. Let's put these. Let's put my little, oh, this is, my little tower's giving me a hard time. I'm just going to set that over there. So let's get these on here like this. 
And as I'm working, where is my hair? It is right in front of my eyes. Um, as I'm working along here, you know, a few little ideas are coming to me. So we're going to move this up because I do want it on the same... The same on each side. And what size that is, I'm not sure. I just have to play with it here. Okay, that there. It looks the same, but it looks like it's off, but that's the same. Okay, that and that. My glue is still a little wet. That's why it's that's why it's looking like that. Okay, we got that one there. Okay. Then we've got to do my little one here. And this is where. This is where I get a little confused. I think that's for the small one, is it? And then, so I think, what do I do here? I'm not good at this at all. So I take, is that D? Um, Is it that one? Well, we're going to find out, aren't we, ladies? And it is. I'm never, I'm always so unsure of how to rotate those little dials. It really gives me anxiety, <laughs> to say the least. Okay. All right, that's good. All right, so that I will set there. Then I'm thinking, so we have this here like that, and I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't hang it like a little, like a little frame. Um, I have my twine. That will blend in. I'd have to get a colored or a darker. I have my two different. I have this one here. I have a blue. The blue might be too light, and this might not even work, because I'm going to have to think how I would secure that up there. That blue is too light. I would have to use, like, a black. Um, something like that. I don't know. And then I'm thinking, how would I secure that so it looked like there was a little frame, or I mean a little hook for it. Or I could just adhere it like this, and I could have a little pocket, um, or I could have a little side pocket. Maybe I could do a little, or maybe I could do nothing at all and just use her as the focal point. I think that might be what I will do um, because she's so sweet. And then um, I do have these cute little numbers here. 
I have these here that I thought maybe I could cut and use. Um, I have one cut. I could adhere that like that. Or the other thing I have, I have these cute little typewriter numbers and I could put some right on the bottom, put a few on the bottom there. Now, I'm not really good at cutting these circles out. I'm going to see if I have a little punch that maybe would fit that. Okay, I have a little half inch punch, but it might be a little too small. Oh no, look at that. It'll fit the, it'll punch those perfectly. So I'm going to take a little bit off of here. And I'll take a little bit off of here. And then I can just punch these out. And I'm just going to punch a few different numbers and we'll see how that works. So we have And that might be kind of cute to put them right on the bottom like that. And I'm not going to distress them or anything like that. I am just going to keep them natural like this. A little bit of art glitter glue. Okay, and then we will get her down on the page. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a double-sided tape for up on top here only for the fact of those eyelets. And then I can glue the rest, but I think the tape would work a little bit better. Then I can glue the rest. Okay. Today's one of those days where I just, I have to really think about what I'm doing here. Um, so I really don't have, I'm not real chatty. Okay. So I think that double-sided tape worked really well there. Okay, so we have her on there, which she's just so cute. These we're gonna set aside. So then here we're going to have, we have our belly band and what I'd like to put in here, um, I think we have time. I have these tea cards that I pulled and I want to make a, um, a little 
something something to go in there and I also have and I don't know if I will use it and now I can't find it but I just purchased some new papers from Louisa Heinzel and I just love them um may have to do it in the next video but I purchased her lazy um she calls them lazy masterboard papers and I think this is silly because they were just here so I found one these are the papers and I just love them and um she did a wonderful job on these and then you add to them what you want and then you can make your tags or whatever but I really like this paper as well and I just thought it would be a really cool um, journaling you know a journaling paper um, to tuck in this um, this book as well but I think for now I'm going to use this tea card um, not necessarily we may not keep it there but that's where it's going to go right now and um, let's move the book the journal and I think with these I have some doilies and again I want to use birds and my flowers and and different things I've got a little piece of fabric here so I thought on this one here and I just love this this came around this jute ribbon here okay it's not ribbon but this jute twine or whatever you call it and I really like this so I wanted to actually use this on here as well um so I have this I have a book I have a bird book and I cut this particular one out here and I thought we could put this one down in the corner and um I wanted to add this little bit of paper doily I think they're about the same this one might be a little bit bigger but I wanted to put that up on top there have this down below and then have this come across something like that all right just to add a little bit more texture um, to this and I like the background because it just shows a little bit. It looks like burlapy. And then I have this little piece of um, twine here. So, and I don't mind. I don't need to have this tea dyed or anything like that. I do like the white on here. I don't, it doesn't all have to be um, tea dyed and, and look old. I'm just taking some of these little things out here. All right, so um, we're going to get this glued down. And I just want to make sure I get the glue on the really good on the top part here. Because that's the part that's going to be. being pulled in and out, in and out. So I just want to make sure that's down really well. And make sure all these little things are out. This one here. Okay, and I think that would be, I have to bring this up a little, I want that brown to show. Okay, so I think if we bring that up right about there, I think that'll be good. You can also paint your glue on here, um, your Mod Podge. I did that with 
a doily where I knew I was going to be. Um, it was on a page, and I just really wanted it to adhere well. Because sometimes you put these doilies down, and they start to break. I just want to make sure the, the ends are down really well. Okay. And then maybe we can just put this on here like this. And we're going to have to uh, back, put something on the back because there is writing. And I want this to be a journaling card. So we will get that on there like that. Sometimes it's fun, you know, making items like this where it's not all part of the kit. Um, you know, having a completed kit is always really nice. But again, um, you know, if if the kit comes with some things that you you know I'm just not sure of or. They're a little bit too big. I have to downsize some of the stuff, I think, is what's um, stopping me from using more. Some of the little embellishments and stuff are just so large. And some I'm not even quite sure how I would use. I'm not really good at... Um, using some items that I'm just not, it's like, I don't know how I would use that. <laughs> some people make it look so easy, you know, when I watch them. Um, and I struggle. I struggle. And I, I don't think I'm used to making journals either. I don't do it all the time. I'm just really finding that I really like the collage art. And I guess that's where I have to ask, you know, my subscribers too. When you subscribed to my channel, what was the one thing that you really, why did you subscribe? Was it, you know, the, the journals, the, you know, the, the tags and things like that? Was it the collage art? Was it Marguerite Miller's um, weekly collage? I, I'd really like to know because sometimes I I feel like I'm I'm struggling. I'm not sure what what y'all want and what you know really what I should be doing. Um, so you could kind of help me out there. as to what you really, really want to see me do. I guess what you can, you know, learn from me or, um, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't know what I have to offer. Okay, so I had another little, I don't want these. I have another little, <laughs> my desk is so paper with smaller items on it to cut, to cut out, and they were right here, um, let me take a minute and find them, okay, all right, I found them, okay, so these are the smaller little ones, and I do remember cutting one out. And of course, I don't know where it is. So we're just going to cut another one. I had cut one out from here. And I thought I would put it on here. So um, 
let's see. I'm going to do, it's got to be small, so it'd have to be one of these, really. And I think I would want to do a black one because I think it, I want it to go with this here. So let's, let's use the Discover one. Use discover, and then it's funny. I watch. Um, I was watching Biddy Penny the other day, and she was making these four tags because she wanted to um, be part of Louise Heinzel's giveaway. I think it was like four hundred thousand. Is it forty thousand? Four hundred thousand? I don't know. It's a Maybe it's, I don't know. It's an unbelievable number of subscribers she has now. And congratulations to her. Um, you know, she really has at it. And she just puts so much time and her heart and soul into everything. And um, I watch her and I think, oh my gosh, I am such a newbie. And I have, what I do is like so old fashioned and so antiquated. <laughs> um, I feel like a real dinosaur after watching her channel and all her mixed media and all the things that she does. Um, that's just, that's just not me. Um, what she does is fabulous, but I could never keep up. I, I wouldn't want to keep up. I just I just do simple little projects. I'm just a simple little girl. Well, I'm not so little anymore. Um, and I like to do it because it's it's a social aspect for me as well. And when I don't do it, I really feel like I'm missing I'm missing my girls that do watch and comment and I just think it's I just think it's a nice way to spend my time with with you all. Um, okay, so we have to back this here so we can. We can write, somebody can write on this. Um, so, I'm looking at my pile over here. I'm looking at my pile and I'm looking to see what I have. And I'm wondering if maybe I just might not use some old paper bag, which I think is really fun to use. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a piece of this and get this on the back because I am trying to keep it natural, as natural as I can. And these are the littlest, um, the tiniest little Yoo-hoo's, I, when I ordered them, I thought I was ordering the big ones. And when I got them, I was like, ooh, okay. I guess that didn't work out real well for me. But they're cute. 
All right. That's a good cleaning. All right, so that's on there. We're going to cut this. I'm going to cut this down. I know some of my um, subscribers are card makers, so I hope that, you know, you can take some of this stuff away that I do and apply it to your cards, which would be wonderful. Okay. All right, so now we have the back. We have a nice little writing, nice little writing area. And we can just distress that a little bit, give it a little, little finish. there. All right. So another little couple pages done in the journal and we can tuck that. We can tuck that right into there. So we have just a nice little feature page showing this sweet little cowgirl and then we have our belly band and then a nice little journaling card made with items that have been in my stash. So that is it. That is it for um, this video here in the journal. And then I can go ahead and continue to work in um, the other one. So I want to thank everybody for joining in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long for you. But um, yeah, I think it's I like this look. I just really like this earthy, um, real pretty. I think it's really pretty. I love all the colors. I love the fabrics. So if you enjoyed it and you like it, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up. I'd love to have you leave a comment and let me know what you think. Um, and until our next pages that we will venture into, I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.